Alrighty, now we're ready to move on to a fancy French, or as it's called, a chevron French. That's a French tip, which is a white tip, but it has a V design. And I'm also going to show you, because it's so easy to add this in, a stripe in here. So we're going to go first to a glass plate with mask paper on it. And I've sprayed the mask orange so that you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to take a frisket blade and a business card, or you can use any type of triangular point to cut this edge. And you would lay the business card on the frisket paper and trace it with your knife so that you cut out a point that we can use to make that chevron edge. And I've already cut it out here, so I'm just going to peel up with my knife. Oops, that didn't go as well. I'm going to just lift it and then take a pair of tweezers and peel up. Now, this is the bottom piece that we'll use later. We're going to peel that up first and just move it down on the glass. And then I'm just going to grab the mask here so it's ready to go when I'm ready to shoot. And this is actually the piece that I'm going to use to get this look right here. This is what's going to fit, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is just like a standard French, we're going to go to the French manicure color. You can put it down with your base coat or you can spray it down with paint. I'm going to spray it down with some pearl bronze here. And again, just lightly coat the nail. I'm going to coat two so I can show you both techniques. I'm going to coat them both at the same time. And this is more like how you'll work when you're working on a client. You'd be spraying one hand, building up the color slowly on each nail, going back and forth so you don't get wet. Just give it an even coating of color. And on the natural nail, you can spray it translucent if you want to have the nail bed color showing through. That's entirely up to you and the client, what, they, what kind of look you want to achieve. Make sure the nails are real nice and dry because you have to have this paint dry in order to lay that frisket film down because it has some tack to it. All righty. I'm going to go right to the striping design and do that first because it's so easy to incorporate into your design. I'm going to load up with pearl blue, which is the color I'm going to use to make the stripe. A couple of drops will do. I'm going to do this on one nail. And now I'm going to place my frisket on the nail. Just place the point and then just get it nice and tight to the nail. Now this has a sticky backing so it'll stay tight to the nail. Then I'm going to take the pearl blue and spray along the frisket edge and build that color up slow due to the fact that you don't want it to get wet and bleed underneath. You don't have to spray the whole tip blue just right by the stripe. Get that real nice and dry. Now when removing frisket film, be sure that you always grab the film and peel straight back. You don't want to pull straight up because if you pull straight up, it will lift paint sometimes. Now what you'll do to get your white tip is you'll just line up the point and place it down, just protecting that blue stripe that we just made. And again, making it nice and tight to the nail. Just like that. Now we've protected the base of the nail and the stripe. Now I'm going to load up with white paint and spray the edge. And this could take a little more time because we're going to cover up the blue. So again, take your time and build it up slow. And 
And this is how you would do it without the blue stripe if you would make the nail without the stripe in it. Once you've got it as white as you'd like it to be, you again will peel straight back with the mask. And there you go. You've got your stripe and your white tip. Now to do just a plain white tip, you would just place the mask like we have before, right on the nail, try and center it. And it won't take you as long because it's just a light color in the background. You can do a soft white or a bright white depending on how much white you spray down. And then as a little finishing touch, you can, you can leave it plain like this. Or as a little added extra, you can go back to the bead piece that we had at the beginning when we cut this out, place it at the top, similar to like we did with the standard French in the first video. And just lightly blow in a Lula in the back. Remember, always peel your mask straight back. And there you go. You've got two very simple but fancy designs for clients who want a little bit more on their nails and are willing to pay a little bit more on their nails. Now we'll move on to a striping design on the nails.